or 50 boxes per acre instead of 40. Tremendous yield. And this is on our new Nutrag program. With the True Foss Platinum, uh, with the Trio Max Plus or Manza Foss Max Plus, I can regenerate roots and you think the plant's gone, I can bring the plant right back to health. Wish humans, uh, we could bring humans back to health that way as quickly, but uh, we can do that. And you can see the size of these onions here, tremendous size. Uh, what I do during the season, I try to maintain a healthy top right through. And you can see now that we're, dr we're trying to dry them. We want these necks to dry. And once these necks dry, we can throw them in storage. Uh, we'll put some heat to them, make sure they're dry, uh, totally dried so there's no disease. And then we can store them into next year, into uh, April, May, June, if we have to, okay? And here's uh, some of the onion tops right here. And you can just see uh, what the top at one time looked like. I'm trying to get a top up so high. And then what I do, uh, when I come closer to harvest, I use a, a product called um, Yield Builder. I'm moving the carbohydrates or sugars produced by the leaf to bulk up the, the uh, onion itself, okay? And that's where uh, we developed that, uh, that product called uh, uh, Yield Builder. And that's one of the products I asked Martin to develop for me. I said it has to mix with so many things, no chlorides, and the boys come up with it, the two chemists, uh, Tom, uh, Tom in particular and Kelly. Uh, they come up with the product, and man, does it ever work. So, <laughs> and uh, I, I asked for a lot of things, and they delivered. That's amazing. It's a huge yield here. Now, I'll guarantee you this year that this is the number one carrot and onion producer in Ontario. And we just enjoy it. Uh, uh, ben uh, Daglish, he's working with carrots too. He's got some big carrots. He had carrots last year uh, with the True Floss Platinum. I could put my two feet together, it's two feet long. Big processing carrots and certainly Dan Ellis with tomatoes and carrots and onions, he, he's working together. I mean, any one of us three, the growers will know if you're working with us, you're gonna get the, the biggest yields in the, in the area. And that's what we're after. Trying to maximize yields, trying to make sure our farmers are, are prosperous. Uh, that's one of the things we want to do. The other thing, which uh, what we do when we look at products, first of all, we're looking at convenience. In other words, they have to mix with uh, pesticides, so they're going in one shot instead of uh, making two trips to the field. They got to be cost effective. In other words, I tell the growers, I want five dollars back for every dollar you spend. Uh, so that's uh, the second uh, of the three C's. The third C is consistency. That when I'm using these products year to year, I know I'm getting consistent results in increased yields. So I'm looking at increased yield, I'm looking at increased quality, I'm looking at shelf life, storage ability. Those are the type of things I'm looking at. I'm also looking at uh, reducing diseases and insects. This is just another crop. Now we don't want these quite as big because if they get too big, they get woody and they're horrible tasting. But what we're trying to do is get uh, consistent, uh, you know, size like this, so we get the big yields. And we want a quality product that people say, hey, these are good deeds, they're not uh, tasting like lumber. And uh, we're always after flavor too. One of the things you, you gotta remember with, uh, with uh, any kind of soil, especially muck soil, we want the copper to be high. The higher the copper is, and I try to get the copper in muck soils up to 25 parts per million. The more copper, the less bacterial activity, the longer the muck lasts. The bacteria breaks down the organic peat and eventually it'll be down to the clay or whatever the uh, uh, base of this soil is and we're trying to maintain it for a longer period of time of copper but copper also gives you better color in the beets but uh, the brown skin in the onions orange color in carrots it makes things sweeter and it also reduces the disease in the plants as well copper in the soil okay and so we're always uh, looking at that but that's uh, this is going to be a good beet crop in here 